All right, a good Wednesday to you. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist John Dawson. This is your tropical update. We really get to dive into things and spend a little more time talking about what's happening in the tropics. And we sort of have the same scenario that we had yesterday. And the fact that the majority of the Atlantic is very quiet. We are watching an area of just stormy weather in general around Florida. And then also we have Hurricane Flossie still over there in the Eastern Pacific. And that's what we'll start with was Flossie. Watch how things are falling apart with Flossie. You see that eye and then it goes away. That's never a good sign if you want development happening for Flossie to continue to strengthen. That is a good sign, I guess, for us that it is weakening and it's continuing to head out into the Pacific. Here is the latest. It's 100 mile an hour winds here with the 4 p.m. update on Wednesday. So we were 110 miles an hour. Now we're down to 100. That's that's still a category two. We're still taking this out to the Pacific away from the Mexican coastline. So a lot of good things to report with Flossie uh, and the mainly is the fact that it is weakening and heading out into the open waters. We talked about this area over in the uh, eastern Gulf that is just sort of a lot of storms happening and a front's going to come in there and kind of stall out. Kind of watch what happens here as we go through time into the weekend. Particularly you start to see a little bit of spinning, a little bit of rotation. Rotation. It ends up kind of creeping over here into the Atlantic a little bit. I know that might be a little bit difficult to see right away, so I'm going to add in some of our um, our drawings for you to kind of see. This is that front I was talking about. It's going to kind of come in and stall. This is going to be Thursday morning. We get into Friday. That stalled front has a little bit of a low pressure system that starts to spin, and then it's going to sort of hang around Florida a little bit and eventually kind of try to end up over here into the Atlantic where exactly if it's more over land or more of a water that's a big deal as far as its development goes and what it could end up doing and at this point again we're not for sure that it'll even be a tropical system but overall looking for some kind of a low that's going to create a lot of rain. So the National Hurricane Center large area here in orange. This is where they're monitoring. They're given right now a 40% chance that it would develop into a tropical system. And no matter what, though, look at the expected rainfall that's going to come from this, whether it's tropical or not. Most of this you'll notice is out over open water. So here is it's hard to kind of see with all the rain that's happening. Here's the uh, the coastline right here. The majority of the rain happening over the Atlantic, but look around Tampa. There's a lot of rain for those folks. So that's all kind of tropical in nature. It's something that we're keeping an eye on something we want you to know about. Now for those of us over in Southeast Texas and into Louisiana, I know those folks on Louisiana watching us on YouTube. This is for you and Fox local. We've got the Sahara and dust that we're continuing to deal with. That's going to be with us through Thursday and then another batch more or less arrives on Friday. Eventually we start getting to the end of the weekend and that's when we're going to kind of be working this dust out of the picture. So just a quick reminder that while things are relatively quiet, this is the best time to prepare. If you want to go to my YouTube channel, just search for meteorologist John Dawson. I've got my hurricane gear test. Lots of great ways for you to think about preparations, give you some ideas to kind of go in to what your plannings are. 